perfect. Hey, good morning. Welcome to this video. Welcome to my place in Tilburg. And welcome to the day before I'm heading on a new bike adventure. Last video was of me and Finley doing a hiking trip in Scotland. Love that. Definitely going to be doing more of those. But this time we're back on the bike. And not just any bike. Focus released their new carbon gravel bike last week. Which means that I can finally unveil that the bike Jelmer and I rode at Badlands. Which had a special Badlands wrap. Some of you already knew that was the carbon gravel bike that they just released. So we got it about a year in advance. Got to ride it only during that event. I wasn't allowed to ride it since that. And now I'm allowed to ride it again. So. We're leaving tomorrow for a ferry and we're bikepacking to Dirty River, an event on the border of England and Scotland. It's like a 200 kilometer gravel ride race in the weekend. It's Wednesday now, leaving tomorrow. Then from there we're bikepacking to Manchester, taking a plane to Barcelona, bikepacking to Girona to ride Traca in the weekend after. So two big Gravel events, Dirty River 200Ks, Traka 360Ks on the new bike, which I'm going to prepare today for uh, all of this adventuring. Racing, bikepacking, so it's going to have to do everything. I need one setup that works for all. I'm still waiting for one parcel of something that I didn't get yet, but all of the other stuff that I need I already got. And in this video, I guess I'm going to take you through the whole setup of the bike, what I'm going to bring, just to make it ready for all of these different things. But first let's open two packages that I got this morning. One is from Dynamic, shout out to Yama Botje. I actually don't know what's in here. Ooh, it's their new sunscreen. I guess I wasn't supposed to open it like this. Oh shit. All right Yama, maybe have a look at uh, packaging. All right, I'm going to clean this mess up. Then, a whole bunch of CO2. Uh, I was running out, so ordered some new ones. And new tires. Thought I would try the new 47 millimeter version of the Pathfinder. Found it in 10 wall because of course you're gonna need 10 wall. I don't want a black tire. Gonna put those on the wheels outside later. That's that. Then, Something I have to prepare is my tail fin because I'm gonna bring a lot of luggage. I'm gonna run the carbon version of the tail fin, but because I need to bring a whole bunch of stuff for rain riding, warm riding, laptop, all that shit, I want to be able to use panniers. So I need a different bracket, which I have, but I need to install it. I'm going to figure out how to do that right now. <gasps> Mailman. Actually, this is not the package I expected. Oh, that's pretty sexy. Can you see the color? Yeah, pink sliders. This was an important package because it contains the rims that the new tires need to go on. I don't know if you remember the boom board that I used on my uh, Zwift setup. That was from a company called Laser. And Laser is not just a boom board company, it is also a wheel company. So what we decided for this year is that I'm going to be riding Laser wheels. I've been mainly struggling to find good road boost wheels for uh, the Focus Atlas and Laser offered to give me a fast set of gravel carbon wheels, which I have right here. And then they also offered me a custom mixed set of a lightweight rear wheel and a Dynamo Hub front wheel, which I will be able to use for Hellenic Mountain Race that I'm gonna do next month. It's a 1000 kilometer ultra with 30,000 meters of elevation. Uh, boggles my mind, that's twice Badlands. But for that, for sure, I will need a Dynamo front wheel and they offered to build me a uh, set for that as well. So super excited, but also excited for this 40 millimeter high, uh, which is I think ideal height. Uh, if you want to trade lightweight, aerodynamics and very wide, which is very good for gravel tires. Let's finish the tail fin thing. And then I'm going to set up these wheels outside.
All right, quick release, tail fin setup done. So let's go outside, make the other modifications. See you downstairs. All right. So this is the bike. You see me ride it at Badlands, but then it looked a little bit differently. Decided to keep the fork the way it was, just because I like it, it's a good memory. Something that is already new is the new SRAM Force Explore group set. Guys from SRAM installed it for me, which is nice because it's kind of a big job. What I am going to do is change the chain ring on the front, it's 42 now. And with all of the climbing in Girona, I would rather have a 40 uh, on there. So I'm gonna see if I can take it apart and install that. Gonna have to shorten the chain for it as well, but that's pretty easy. I've actually never taken a SRAM chain ring off here before with a power meter. I don't know if I should be careful with that. Probably not. All right, chain ring, chain done. Time to uh, set up the new wheels. Tubeless with inserts, so praying that it will be easy. <laughs> Going to use Vittoria inserts as always, mainly to make sure that I can still ride on the tires even if I get a little flat. I like them for that added security. Really like the look of these with the black decals, nicely understated, aero flat spokes, gorgeous. And I think they included tubeless valves. Yes, valves. Perfect. Seems like it's seated. All right, second one also done. I measured them. Uh, the rim is 25 millimeters wide, and then the tire on this rim is 46. So not the 47 that's on the packaging. A little bit narrower, which I think is fine for uh, Fine for this trip. Gonna switch over the cassette and the brake disc as well. Then uh, this job is also finished. My gearing will be 1044 in the back, 40 in the front. That should be good for bikepacking and steep climbs in uh, Girona, I think. Perfect. All right, that means all the crucial bits are done. A little bit about the wheels. They are the CH40 basic carbon all road gravel wheel from Laser. I think they look pretty cool, nice and understated. And they're very cheap as well. I think only 900 euros or something. Now, all that's left is to add the bags. I'm going for the tail fin in the back, two pannier bags on the sides, frame bag and a top shoe bag that I still have from Badlands. Uh, Tilfin made those custom for this bike so they fit perfectly. Ooh, about what I'm bringing. I'm compiling a 
ultimate definitive bikepacking gear list. All the things you should bring, all the things I normally bring also for uh, shooting videos, whatever. I think I'm gonna make a separate video about that when I get back from this trip, when I prepare for Hellenic Mountain Race. And then I will make a video about it and put a link to the actual list so uh, you don't have to make your own. Something I'm working on. Could be interesting for the future. Who knows? One of the mechanical things that I hadn't mentioned yet is that after Badlands and then leaving it upstairs, I felt it would be good to change out the headset. So I added a completely new headset with bearings, uh, all the spacers, whatever. Everything is brand new. So, see how smooth it is? <laughs> just how it should be. Also just weighed it, dry weight, everything's on there, pedals, bottle holders, hammerhead mount, 9.37. Not the light spike in the world, but uh, for a gravel bike with 46 millimeter tires, still pretty respectable, I think. Right, so as I mentioned, for the tail fin, I'm gonna bolt these to the frame, so the quick release can snap on and snap off. And once those are on, all I gotta do is attach this to my seat post, and that's it. Yeah, perfect. So most of the stuff I'm gonna bring, especially the heavy stuff, is going in here. It's a pretty big bag, you've all seen it. Plenty of times in my other videos. And then on the sides, I got these, what is it? I think 10 liter bags. Super easy, gonna pack my sleeping gear and uh, cycling kit in there. Looks pretty clean. Oh yeah, I put some protective tape on the frame here because here I'm gonna add the frame and top tube bag. That's next. Perfect, it's gonna hold all my electronics, snacks, all of that stuff. Ah, uh, that's it. Bronze and black bike, only two colors. I'm gonna do a little uh, little loop around the house to check if everything is good and tight, working, and then I'm ready to go. I'm very excited for this trip. It's gonna be a lot of riding and a lot of fun, I think. So, see you in the next video. Ciao. How silly of me, I almost forgot one of the most important parts of any bikepacking bike build, my flask. Gonna fill this up with a nice Scottish whiskey and then I am really ready.